What is going on, everybody? We are back on Jujutsu episode 19. I think we have five episodes left, so this episode will have 20. Next, I mean, this week we'll have it 20 as well. Next week will be 21, 22. And then, so we've got three weeks left. The villains or the curses, whatever we're kind of labeling them, have infiltrated this like organized school event. It wasn't like covered by like security and things, so I guess. I could see it not being hard to like kind of infiltrate in things, but like, how would they know in the exact location? Like clearly somebody on the inside is working with just kind of who it is or somebody that used to be that knows where things might be being held and things like that. So we'll kind of see Gojo is not in, which is good because you have to like keep his opinion. it will be like all might, like if he's involved in things, it's just going to end type thing. So we have to remove him to at least show us that the other characters have some type of skill. So, we'll kind of leave it there and see what everybody has to offer. So, episode 19 titled Black Fish. Pressing play right now. I'm guessing we're going to see more of the speech to user and those things, right? These three are interesting pairing. Woof! He doesn't have enough damage to break through that. They can't keep that up forever. They're just going to keep stopping it, attacking it, and just doing that over and over. Oh, man. Yeah, he's like rejecting it. So how do you deal with the cursed speech again? I know we kind of talked about it a couple episodes back, but... If he is stronger, he essentially could stop anybody correct at least for a given amount of time like if he got his skill up he could essentially control gojo correctly or at least give him commands that he couldn't reject or resist right i just don't think i think his is like if i have more cursed energy than you then i can basically have you do anything if you have my level or above i might can only control you for like split seconds you know so Why didn't he speak? Why did he... There's a limit to it? Or like maybe the stronger they are, the more kind of cursed energy you have to put into the command and he just can't keep it up? Or what's happening here? Oh, what the hell? I for he's so much strong in it's interesting here we know he's got the hidden like demon inside of him oh so it affects his throat the stronger the person is maybe like he's to put more into it oh god does he pack any power behind? Like, he could give these commands and be like, stop and fuck somebody up. Oh, okay, we run. We run, we run, we run, we run. No? Okay. Oh, God. It's not enough. It's just not enough. Yeah, it's just not. Oh, God. I feel I still feel like the person speaking is up under that shoulder. Hmm. Yep, yeah, weapons embedded with curses. We got this in the first couple episodes. Based on their force and effects, they're divided into grade one through four, just like sorcerers. Wait, specific I specific I I like weapons are given grades. What makes them better than the rest? Wait, 
what makes it better? Because I'm thinking it requires the the user to put the energy into it. That's what would make a tool. If I had a knife or I had a staff, they're both going to be equally as good depending on how much energy I put into it. But it's also, but they're making it kind of seem like you can buy weapons that have energy already put in them. Like Gojo could put his energy into something, making it like a, a grade one. Mm-hmm. Oh, so his one wolf's going to be a little bit stronger because you get the energy from the other, right? It's got to be a distraction, right? Oh, wow. And she's going to be better with this. Oh, God. They're really going in. I mean, we know they're not going to really do any, like, killing blows, are they? That three-section staff again. Yeah. Oh. She put a... You gotta, you gotta dodge that. What is under that blanket? They have the energy to keep up, yeah. He needed the energy back within him. The bud embedded in you loves, so the more he uses, the more it's going to take. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a way to get rid of it. Hmm. She can't do this by herself. She's got the skill, but like, this is just on a different level. Yeah. Yeah. We need help. Help. We know he has potential. We well, just what is it though? What did he see within him? Dang, I wanted to see him go Super Saiyan right there. Oh, somebody showed up. They got some. They got backup. Tell me it's the two. Yep, it is. This will be good. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be good. Probably the two most equipped to handle what's happening right now, minus Gojo. This will be good. I was about to say, we haven't. That's the. That is honestly, how long was that? Eight minutes, one of the longest, like, cold openings of anything I've ever seen in my life. I was like, I think we're just skipping. I think we're just straight up skipping openings now, but that was good. Um, I wanted to see more of, like, so, like, let's let's talk about these weapons. Um, they were, we, we got explained when we, um, we saw it, was that episode two, episode three, where they were talking about when Gojo gave him a weapon. He's like, hey, it's been embedded with cursed energy. And then they were like, you know, cursed weapons. You know, they're weapons that have cursed energy within them. You know, making them, you know, stronger than they might be or whatever, whatever. I thought it was all based upon the energy that the user could put into it. But they're making it seem like you can essentially wield anybody's cursed energy within a weapon. 
So what what makes it a grade one or a grade four weapon? Is that dependent on whose energy is in it? Like Gojo, if he puts his energy into a weapon, it's going to be a grade one, right? But if I have more if I have more cursed energy, am I able to handle a cursed weapon that's a grade one better than somebody else? Or like it's going to work the same regardless of the user. It just depends on the energy that has been put into it. And then and me as a user, can I put more energy into a weapon that's already had energy put into it? I don't know. This will be good because we've never seen Toto really like in in action. He's been so overpowered compared to the others that he's gone against up to this point. They're about to go off, by the way. We got this. Give him a thumbs up. Yeah. We're about to go off. Panda, get them out of there. Pandosh! Are they going to take turns or are they going to double team? Ah, oh, they're going to let him get his action. Oh, it was Black Flash? I thought the episode was titled Black Fish. Maybe that's, a, that's my fault. He's not going to help him. It's like Gojo training all over again. Oh, they don't know who that is. doesn't seem like enough does it yeah it just seems like it's not enough but hmm what's under that Yes. I hope he blinks right to him hand through the chest. <laughs> Woof! Hi-hi-t! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have the power control yet, but we're working on it. He didn't hit. He missed. What's this black flash? It yeah, he let his emotions get the better of him right there. <sighs> yeah. He got too riled up right there. <laughs> They've rained on your honeymoon with me. He's got to think clearly. Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't have to slap me again. I got it the first time. <laughs> I'd have been like, yeah, they're gone, but slap me again and I will put hands on you. <laughs> it's a distortion of space born from the impact cursed energy. Delivered within a trillionth of a second, so it's fast. Oh, so it's not something just 
unique to Itadori then. This is from the core Christian G thing. Dang, okay. So there's only seems to only be a handful that can really pump this type of stuff out. Why are we drooling? Oh, okay. <laughs> That hurt. I feel like I'm watching an old fighting game, like with this music and the way they're. This is all without a uh, Sakuna's. Well, at least to my knowledge, Sakuna's help. By the way, they have that like old Street Fighter soundtrack right there at the cut screen. He's like, where did this come from? Yep. He's just been out there just going pure raw ability. Is immature as a sorcerer, but he and this mysterious. They keep calling Toto this mysterious man. As long as it has more energy, it can keep healing. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 cost something. Are they both going in? I want to see the tag team. Ah, here we go. It's going to get serious. Is that where the voice is coming from? Oh, no. I thought there was going to be like a head under there. I feel like I'm listening to some like Soul Calibur. Yo, speaking of Soul Calibur, what an am we're going to talk about top fighting games. The animation just switched up on us. Can't tell if I like it or not. Oof. Okay, we're moving. <laughs> she said that shit hurt. No, it was creating it, yep. What we got for that? Oh my god. It looks like they've been training together for like decades and shit. Their synergy is so good. Wait, are we done? Damn, we're damn near done. Nah, eh? I can't wait for Gojo to take his ass out.
It's been a pretty good episode, though. They lessened the blow, but still hit the ground. So how much stronger is uh, Hanami? Nice. How much curse energy you got up in there? Even though we... Well, that's that shit that's going to put us to sleep. Oof. Oh, hell. And episode cut. You know, I got to fool me. I already know what the deal is. Unleash my technique, he says. There's where the episode cuts. Yep. Solid, solid episode, though. Um, I was curious to see if they were going to let the others get a little bit of shine. Um, just to see what he has up his sleeve. We know Sukuna, like, really sees potential. Like, like the Hisoka gone type shit. Like, I'm keeping you alive because I could see you turning into something here. Um... But it still hasn't been brought out of him yet, so we'll still wait to see. It was good to see the girl get going there. Again, you guys feel free to answer the questions about those cursed energies, cursed tech, uh, cursed weapons, and the cursed energy. Um, I thought maybe you put energy into it as you're fighting, but it looks like you can get one that already has it. How strong that'll turn to be, we'll kind of wait to see on that. Um, Toto and Itadori doing the tag team is, is pretty great. Highlight of the episode for sure. Um, we'll see what Hanami is like willing, where it, I don't even know what we're calling it, where it's willing to go um, to achieve this. Um, I wonder if we'll flash back to see the principal with his guitar. We still haven't gotten that. And if shit was to really hit the fan right here, like what... What would Gojo do if there was some way that he could be fed information that, like, all of his comrades, um, students, etc., they're being slaughtered in there. They're dying one by one. Is there straight up nothing he can do? Like, he just can't get inside. He can't cover the whole thing in maybe his domain or sacrifice maybe a limb or something to get like there's nothing he can do like that's just it this great all powerful gojo has a barrier put up specifically made for him and that's it he's just no nope, mm, can't get in that's it hmm i don't know we'll kind of have to wait to see how that plays out i'm going to see toto's technique because even though we haven't seen hanami go all out we still haven't seen these two go all out as well and the ultimate trump card up the sleeve if she hits the fan sakuna will come out and you know handle what needs to be handled but um leave it there and we'll see how it goes i appreciate it patreon members you guys will see this on the 14th of uh what are we in april um we'll go from there like share favorite subscribe and as always